Hey, welcome me, Jeff here again with a fun little video for me. Fun for me. From fun for me. Yeah. Um, time to tap out. What does that mean? Time to tap out. No, I'm not quitting. Um, <laughs> not quitting the vinyl community. Not quitting videos. Um, this is all related to a recent purchase. It kind of spurned additional digging and purchases, and then it kind of led to this video. So, um, and I'll tell you. So I bought this album the other day at my local store. I've seen it there for many years and just never picked it up because I wasn't quite sure about it. But then another recent purchase, which I have shown, I'll remind you of that, caused me to go back and rethink this. I gave it a list online and I thought, yeah, I have to have that. And that kind of ignited, reignited a passion for this particular band. And that is the Derek Smalls album. Uh, <laughs> Small Change, Meditations Upon Aging. It is the debut album from Derek Smalls, formerly of the band formerly known as Spinal Tap. So that's the tap, is the Spinal Tap. So this is um, a, a Spinal Tap related release by Derek Smalls, of course, actor Harry Shearer, um, where he went in and did some more parody type, but not parody, it just kind of quirky lyric based music and and actually if you go in and look at the uh musicians every song has a different musician but there were some quite a few amazing names that came to help out and i wish i would have remembered all of them but i mean steve lukather is all over this album but you've also got some some metal greats um phil x uh taylor hawkins appears on this this is a 2018 release, and so, anyway, you can look it up. There's a lot of guest musicians that made this happen, where uh, with you know him being on bass there. It is a uh, double record set. Got all kinds of cool pictures of him on the insert there, and on the inside, gatefold. So, yeah, and you know, and then, like I said, the credits go on. Uh, with all kinds of people that came in. So, the reason that I decided to go out and get this, so it was funny. I went to my local store. I thought, you know, I've always seen this album there. It was a great price for a double record set. It wasn't like the price was the issue. I just wasn't sure. I just never, pa I passed up on it. So I went in there and I said, I'm going to get it. And so we went down there and we picked this up. I took it to the register. On this particular store, they, their labels on their price labels, it tells you the date that the label was put on there. And this was a 2018. They've had it in the store since 2018. And I went up there and I said, you know what? I'm finally going to take this off your hands. I talked to the owner. <laughs> I'm like, I'm finally going to take this off your hands. You've had it in here now for six years. And he went to put it in the computer, found out it wasn't even in the computer. They've updated their system a couple times in the past six years. So that would explain why, because usually when an album in the store is there for you know, a certain amount of time, it eventually gets marked down and put into a markdown bin. So that explains why this album had been there for six years and had never been marked down because it wasn't even in the system anymore. So yeah, uh, great thing. I went ahead and grabbed that. Now the reason I got that was because I did pick up A Mighty Wind, which I showed a while back. This is a soundtrack to the movie A Mighty Wind. Um, and then, of course, these three guys here are the three guys from Spinal Tech. Christopher Guest, Michael McKeon, and Harry Shearer doing another band parody type thing on here. So when I got this, love this album, love this movie. When I got this and was watching it, I'm like, you know, I should go get that, you know, Derek Smalls album. Just to kind of add to my Spinal Tech collection a little more. So that's what we're looking at today. Is my Spinal Tech collection a little more? Now, um... Let's jump, let's start with, well, let's start with the movie. I have three different versions of the movie. And there's only, there's one version I really want to get, but I, I can't. So, and I don't know where the box for this one went, but this is a CD-ROM version from the 1994 New Line Cinema. It's a double disc CD-ROM set. This would have been, I guess, prior to when they really started making DVDs cheap enough, and this movie wasn't really readily available on dvd it was like vhs still but still in the 90s there were dvds right um so this came out and it's the movie on one disc and then the bonus disc has just like 30 some odd clips and tracks and the kind of stuff that you do find as bonus 
footage on the, the later releases. So um, this was neat to have. Now, I've, I've copied the files off of this onto my computer. They're movie files, MOV files, but they will not play on my modern Windows system. I tried to put them in my video system and spit them out as MP4s. Or, they won't even open. I don't know why. I think it's because they're, they're probably copy protected. And even though I copied them off, and I can't get the CD to play. Windows won't even recognize it. So I don't know. It's old, and I don't know how to access the information on here. But I'm, I'm pretty sure, and I wish I had a box. It has a DVD box that came in, and I don't know what happened to that. I don't know why I eventually put it in these discs. Maybe it was a safe space. I just can't imagine throwing away anything. I'm not that type of person. So maybe the box got damaged. I can't recall. But there is some bonus footage on here, which I don't think appears on some of the later DVD Blu-ray releases. Um, there is an actual uh, 1981 20 minute synopsis movie made. They made like a 20 minute segment and tried to market that to the companies. And that I think is on here. I'm pretty sure it is. I'm pretty sure I've, I've seen that and I'm pretty sure it's on here. I don't seem to find that on any of the later releases. Another thing which I don't think is on here, I don't remember, but the first appearance of Spinal Tap was on a TV show in uh, like 1979. And they look different. And they're playing a song that was a little different uh, than whatever. But that was kind of like them appearing on a TV show for fun. And that was a, when they first appeared under that name as far as I know. You can find it on YouTube. The clip is out there. But I don't know if it's ever been, I don't recall, and I don't think it's on any of the actual DVD releases. And stuff. But that would be kind of a neat way to have everything. So this... Pretty much not able to play it now. I still got to try to find out why, but that came out. So then uh, this is like a, I think a 2000, uh, it's a 1984 movie, but I think this is like a 2009 DVD release. And it has a lot of bonus footage. Um, the typical stuff, um, everything from their music videos to commercials to uh, bloopers and behind the scenes and outtakes and cut ups, cutouts and stuff like that. It's a single disc set. On DVD. Now I've had this for many, many, many years. This is a standard thing. Now enter the Blu-rays, Blu-ray age. I had to pick up a copy on Blu-ray. I got this not too long ago. Fairly cheap. Grabbed it. I found that it is almost identical to this. All the bonus footage is the same. The only difference is this is a Blu-ray on one disc and a CD on the other. I mean a DVD on the other. And the DVD has bonus disc footage, which is newer. Um, this Blu-ray has all the bonus footage I believe that's on this so the blu-ray is pretty much identical to this and then they added a bonus disc of addition it's a DVD I don't know why it went blu-ray but they've got it's a 2007 appearance at that uh, UK festival that you can find the clips on YouTube um, where uh, Greg Bissonette was on drums with them really cool stuff and then there's a interview a, a TV show appearance interview that's really kind of rough footage. I built. Maybe that's on this other disc. There's two things on here that are not on these other discs. So that was kind of cool. Little bonus there. Now, the version I really want is there is a version that came out at, the, I think it was the 25th or 30, 25th edition called Turn It Up to 11. Spinal Tap, Turn It Up to 11. Or turn, turns Up to Anyway, Up to 11 or something like that. But it's only available overseas. And from what I can tell... When you try to buy it on Amazon, it's like 70 bucks, 60 something bucks, and it says it won't play in North America. So it's one of those, like a PAL version. Um, there is a version in Germany that says multi, multi, uh, multi region, not available for sale, can't find anywhere else. Um, so I haven't found a Blu ray edition because the version that that has also includes the, the return of Spinal Tap. The, the basically the second movie it was it was kind of second movie which it really was just a concert video of them playing live but it had all kinds of inter intertwined clips of scenes and stuff including the guys from that was like one of the first appearances of the Volksman they were supposed to open for Spinal Tap and there and then you see him playing and stuff so that's funny so that's where that kind of spawned into that movie but it's kind of a movie, but it's more like a live concert with clips in between. So that was kind of cool. Um, I had that on DVD when it came out for many years. But you know, back in the days when things get tight, that DVD was, 
you know, looking for fetching a decent price, and I guess I sold it. That plus another live concert of the three of them doing acoustic stuff, which I kind of regret now. Most of that stuff's online now, so you can find it. But so there is a Blu-ray version out there that has the it lists this is spinal uh, the return of spinal tap as being on there. So that would be the same DVD that I blue yeah the DVD that I have on Blu-ray, but it seems to be only available overseas in like Germany, Australia, and England, and I can't seem to find a version to play in the U.S. So got that. Now, dipping back even further, I have the uh, Spinal Tap, the videos break like the wind. This came out when their second album came out, and it's a VHS, of course. It's got uh, Bitch School, The Majesty of Rock, and uh, the Bitch School MTV version. The original version is got some uncensored stuff in it. So that was kind of some fun stuff. And most of, nope, those videos are not on it, but the videos from the first album are. Then you dip into the CD years, and this is what I've had the longest. These are, um, these are, this is some of these are later releases, but the original album soundtrack from the album got that on CD. It's a looks like it's a record club edition, but you know, not sure exactly. It, it's not like from the original 80s. I mean, anyway, obviously, it's from a little later. Break Like the Wind, this is when it first came out. Looks like I got that from BMG back in the day. Look at that, anyway. I was a BMG member for a while. So another record club edition. And then this is the return of Spinal Tap in uh, 2008 or nine. I'm not reading that too good. And this is a fun album. And I pulled this out the other day and was listening to this again. So it's got a lot of the same songs from previous albums, but it's a little way different versions, re-records. They've got like, you know, uh, all kinds of just quirky editions of some of their old songs, plus a bunch of new songs. So it's quite a, a good packed album. It's got two discs. It's got this whole fold out thing with this pop up stand up thing of. I can't. I, I'm afraid to do it because it's kind of sensitive, but this. Let's see. It's got this pop up of the three of them as dolls. And then you can stand it up. It makes a whole scene. It's got Stonehenge and everything. Can you kind of see that? Two of the guys at least. And that's front and back, so it's kind of cute. And it folds out and does all the stuff. There's there's a crowd that folds out and everything. So it's a whole little display. It stands up and you fold it all together. And then inside there are this is, yeah two, the two discs two discs it is two discs right yeah two discs. So again, it's got all kinds of stuff. You can see the hands and stuff in there that fold out. Neat little setup. It makes it kind of tough to get the CDs in and out, but and then you got pictures of them as the dolls there. So, um, you're like, what do you mean the dolls? Well, there were some dolls released. <laughs> so, you can get them separately, or you can get them as this in this case. And I picked them up years later. I don't know, maybe, well, I don't know when they came out exactly, but I've had them now for 10, 15 years, more than 15 years, because I've had them in my shed, which I converted to a music room in 2009 so i had them prior to that so you got the three dolls here i can even fit them all in here um now i did i brought them in from the shed because they were getting a little dusty and and dirty and everything so i brought them in took them out slid them out of the box polished up everything to make the got, got any dirt off of there polished all up and then the box itself was falling apart it was it, it was used when i got it from ebay many years ago and so the box was already kind of had some falling apart stuff. So I went ahead and I thought, well, you know, I'm going to go ahead and I, I repaired it all with some strong tape. I just thought, you know, make it look better. It was kind of raggedy looking. Um, I looked it up and you can still get this set of dolls for pretty much the same amount of money I bought it 15 years ago. It's You get those three for like $100 in that set or you can get them individually. So um, it hasn't like increased in value. So I figured, well, I'll go ahead and just tape it up. I'm not going to like sell this anytime soon. Um, and it was already kind of rough. So yeah, fun stuff with the little dolls there. Now going back into the actual vinyl and I admit, here's the first album. I just got this. Now I have been looking for a vinyl copy of this album for many years, but I, f I realized something I told my wife the other day. I said, you know what? First off, if you find it online, which I ended up doing, I found it for a decent price, more than I really wished it would have been. But it usually was over $50. And I'm like, oh, I don't want to pay $50 for an album. But I did find them when it was under $50. And I thought, I'll go ahead and get it. Because it's not getting any cheaper. It just seems like it's going up. People are buying it. I don't know if it's ever going to get released. I would think this is the 40th anniversary. Well, I, you watch. You watch. And I probably should have looked it up before I bought this. But you watch. 
This will be released later this year. It's a 40th anniversary with bonus tracks. And up. Anyway, this is the original. I went ahead and bought it. Found a guy online that had it for a good price. It is in great condition. Great condition. Um, if you haven't seen the inside, it's a gate full with all the fictitious, fictitious previous albums that Spinal Tap has done based on the movie. So I finally, I thought, you know, I need to get a copy of that. So I tracked one down and I grabbed it. So now my collection is kind of complete. I have Break Like the Wind on a picture disc. I bought this many, many moons ago. Again, I think when I converted my shed into a music room, put my band out there, we had practice, all my CDs, everything were out there. I bought this mainly as decoration. I had a bunch of pictures just hanging up on the wall. I didn't have a record player, didn't play records. It was just, I bought this and some other stuff. I bought some Kiss and some Adam Man, all kinds of just picture discs on eBay for cheap because this was, you know, 2009 and there weren't a lot of records being sold or made. Um, but it's not really something I would miss. I mean, it probably sounds okay, but it's not a playable. I really want a copy of this on regular black vinyl. But again, another one that's hard to find that's hard to get hands on that doesn't seem to be for sale. Now, what I forgot to mention about the first album, it dawned on me the reason that I was probably, most likely, not really running across this in the wild is because this would be considered a soundtrack and I rarely go and flip through soundtracks at stores. I'm like, you dummy. This is the soundtrack to the movie. It's most likely gonna be filed under soundtracks and I never look at soundtracks. So I'm like, I could have missed this all along. So, um, yeah, so I went ahead and ordered one online because I was tired of waiting, um, and so I picked that up. So, great stuff. Now, the other thing I got, this is the last piece. This is the official companion. This is Spinal Tap, the book. It has photos. It has all kinds of stuff from the script. It's got song lyrics. It's got their discography, both real and fictitious, the stuff I'm out, out of print. It's like everything... It's like a dictionary of, of, of the actors and the people. Um, like I say, clips from the movie. It is just, it's packed with everything from both Spinal Tap albums, the regular one and Break Like the Wind. Um, nothing from the third, because this came out prior to that. But it's got like just trivia, just stuff that more than you want to know about the backstory of Spinal Tap. Uh, back riding once again into the blind, binding heat of the sun, rock and roll, blah, blah, blah. So. This was shortly after the first album. Includes a prologue by Michael McKeon, a history of the band, a complete transcript of the 1984 rockumentary This Is Spinal Tap, including rare outtakes, lyrics, discography, and an A to Z guide on the band from the acclaimed film and TV critic Carl French. So, yeah, I picked this up at some point because a big Spinal Tap fan had to, had to have that. So, there you go. That's me tapping out. That's all of my fun tap stuff. One day I want to complete, get, get, get a good copy of Break Like the Wind. There are some singles out there. If I run across them, I definitely will buy them. There's a Christmas single and some other stuff, um, Majesty of Rock, and some singles and stuff that, you know, I may run across. But that's it. I hope you enjoyed. If you haven't checked out Spine Up, I, believe it or not, the singer in my band said he's never seen the movie, though his wife has seen it, and it's one of her favorite movies. So I said to the guys in the band today, I'm like, I have the blue right now. We need to have a movie night. Um, I don't know. The singer's a little older. He's, you know, maybe 10 years older than me, and I guess in the 80s, he just didn't see this movie. So um, anyway... Great stuff. I hope you enjoy it. If not, you know, I'm sorry. And if you do, go check out some of their stuff they got online. And, you know, some. I know there's supposed to be a new movie in 2025. So I'm hoping that that really happens. And I'll see you later. Rock on and rock hard.